welcome to Cork. So how many of us get a wedding invitation through the door each year? And with each invitation comes the dilemma of what to wear. And not only this, there's the fear of turning up wearing the same dress as someone else. I have teamed up with some of Cork's top names in female styling and fashion to give you some great tips on hair and makeup and to create a look that will make you stand out from the crowd. I'm going to get a lot of base work into her hair, lots of volume, lots of Bridget Bardot sexiness and we're going to go from there then we're going to bring it into a nighttime look from there. So we're actually doing two key looks today, one for day and one for night, but lots of volume is our theme. This is a gorgeous daytime full voluptuous blow dry. Well, what we've done actually is we've teased the root, not that one until it's completely different and then we went through it with classic Bumble and Bumble hairspray. This hairspray is great because it has memory hold in it. So it actually remembers what your hair needs to be like rather than that lacquerish look, you know? And we will go from this all the way through to nighttime with a sexy James Bond bikini girl and ponytail. Well, the key to this look is volume, right? So it all starts with the blow dry and the right product to be put into the hair. What I used uh, first and foremost was um, a product here, my favourite product actually, it's called Surf Spray, and it's condensed salt water. And you create your volume then once you have enough texture in your hair, you can pull volume into it wherever you want. And it doesn't matter if it comes undone because it's a messy kind of look. So Claire, Pam really went for the Bridget Bardot look. Are you going to follow on the same style? Absolutely. Um, Bridget Bardot had a really sexy, timeless look, you know, um, that's very, very easy to achieve at home. Um, not only that, it's something that can be worn at daytime or nighttime, and a younger person or a more mature lady can really wear the look. So Debbie, I finished contouring the eye at this stage and now the key feature for the Bridget Bardot look is, as you know, the liquid eyeliner. Oh God, Claire, I can never do this at home myself. Do you have any tips? It's not really about what liquid liner you choose. Um, it's really about the angle brush. And uh, the one from MAC is the 266 and it's excellent for gaining control for applying the liquid eyeliner. So Debbie, um, today we've gone for a softer Bridget Bardot look, which really can be worn with any dress. So you're not adhering really to the 1960s look, but it's taking the key feature of the eyeliner and you know the false eyelashes. If you wanted to darken it up and make it more dramatic for evening, just um, simply go heavier underneath with a thick black line, and that would transform the look from day to night. So Pia, do you have an individual style? It would be really hard to say because it kind of changes daily. Some days I could be a bit like this and a bit 60s prep, but then other days I could be boho. So it would be really hard to pinpoint one particular style. So I've picked out four completely different looks from here in Amity. Would you be willing to give them a go? Yeah, sure, definitely. My top tip for a wedding is, ladies, you are not the bride. Stay away from the full length cream and white dresses. My definite no-no is showing too much cleavage. Be a little bit shy no matter how fabulous it is. Short dresses are appropriate for a wedding, but one thing I would suggest, the closer to the knee, the better. This is definitely my favourite one. P, 
Okay, I love this one. I love the way the silk moves. I love the dramatic neckline. I think the whole look is just perfect for a wedding. So girls, as you can see, Cork has a lot to offer in hair, beauty and fashion. So if you've liked what you've seen, check out the website. And on behalf of myself, the girls in Amity and Sobe Brown, thanks for tuning in.